Cholas! Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexia. This is my first YouTube video ever. So please don't judge me. It's my, I'm just really going to try to do my best. Alright, so for my first look, I'm going to be doing this golden kind of seductive look. If you guys want to learn how to do it, just keep on watching. Okay, so I already went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera. If you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. So I also already primed my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And we're gonna go ahead and start. So I am using the 35O palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this light brown shade right next to the olive green. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a Morphe. It doesn't have any number on it, but it can be compared to the <laughs> Morphe 5, um, M502. So we're gonna start right here just in our crease. Notice I'm holding the brush downwards, not up like this, down, and really pressing into my crease and letting the brush flatten out all the way on the top. I do have kind of like a hooded lid, if you can see. So this is like hanging over my natural, like, crease so that's why I kind of bring it a little bit higher then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Morphe brush it's flat it doesn't have a number I got it in a kit but it can be comparable to the Morphe M166 just a skinnier version of that this one's a little bit fatter we're gonna dip into this dark brown we're gonna put this on the inner and outer parts of our eyes okay you just pack it on. Just make sure you leave the center empty and bring it right into your crease. See how like my hood is? I have to like raise my eyebrows while you can't see it, girl. <laughs> see like where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? Just keep on blending, girl. Dark colors, you don't want to look like a ratchet. Okay, I'm gonna add this brown is actually a little bit darker just because I don't feel satisfied with it. Same brush, don't be scared. I just wiped it off a little bit and just right in the corner especially. And blend it out. Yeah, I like that much better. Okay, here's what it looks like so far, and then see how we left the centers empty. So, I'm actually going to go in with a glitter, but first, since the glitter I have is like kind of a goldy color, I want to put a base down so it really like pops. I'm actually going to use a gold color from the 35O palette, and I'm going to use this little brush by Morphe, the B16. Teeny tiny. I'm going to grab the gold and really pack it on the center. I'm gonna like to pull my eye just so I could see all of it cause you know, the extra skin ain't helping nobody, girl. Beautiful. Okay, so now next I'm gonna go in with this glitter by Lake Cosmetics in the color Rich and Famous. It's like this really pretty gold color and you can see it. Okay, and then they also, when you buy one of their kits, um, they um, give you this little like clear um, glitter base. So we're gonna use that. I usually just use my finger because I feel like it looks better that way. Just seeing you don't want any harsh lines. Because I mean, glitter's not gonna blend like eyeshadow, let's be real. Okay, so just lightly get it on your finger and I'm just gonna tap in the center really lightly. And if you feel like the edges are too harsh, you could always just like spread it on the edges. Sometimes mine might come out in a straight line and doesn't look cute. And for a highlight under the brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it to my Jaclyn Hill trio. And then I'm gonna just use um, a little bit of Pearl by Becca and just dab it for the brow bone. When I first used to put really glittery eyeshadows or products by my brows, I always used to get like the fallout into my eyebrows and I always used to just leave it there. Like I thought that it was okay. Like girl, no, it is not okay. Um, I didn't come into realization that I should probably brush it out of my brows till like, yeah, I don't know, like two weeks ago. 
Yeah, much better. And then just make sure you blend down. Okay, so I went ahead and just darkened it a little bit on the sides because I felt like it was a little bit washed out. But now we're gonna go in with lashes. So first we're gonna curl our lashes. Very simple, standard, you guys know the drill. I also like to curl my lashes once at the very base, once in the center, and once at the very tip. <laughs> I'm going ahead and using um, Maybelline's uh, Define a Lash. It's literally my holy grail. I've been using it since I was like maybe like 16, and I'm 21 right now, so it's kind of a long time. Back in my chola days, I'm just playing with my chola. <laughs> Now the lashes I'm gonna be using today are Nora Fairy by House of Lashes. I always, like, even as many times as I wear them, I feel like they never ever wanna like fully attach to my eye. I don't know if my eyes like straight, whatever. So we'll just give it a little bend, shake it. I like to use black eyelash glue. I'm not sure why. I feel like because like if I don't do eyeliner, and at least give me some definition on the water or the, the lash line. Okay, I pull my skin, it's probably not good for you, but whatever. I'm telling you, when you got saggy lids, girl, you gotta do the most. And just attach them all the way at the end. I'm not one of those girls that uses like tweezers or I guess like eyelash applicators to put them on. I don't know how that works. It's some freaking black magic if somebody could let me know. <laughs> and then I also like to do just a little coat under. Cause like I have really straight eyelashes naturally and sometimes throughout the night like they will not stay curled so put a little bit on the bottom and then I just squeeze it. So they stick together. I used to put eyelash glue but I kind of learned the hard way that when you would take them off in the end of the night sometimes even your real lashes come with it and you know I'm trying to be bald. One of the only places in my body where I don't want to be bald. So I have really, really, really dry skin. So I first moisturized with Eucerin, which is an eczema lotion, right when I got out of the shower. And then I use L'Oreal Infallible. I'm in the color 108, but they never have my shade, so I use 109, 107 mix. But it always cracks on me, and I feel like it dries way too quickly. So before that, I put on baby oil. I know like my oily girls out there might be like, what? But like, literally, this is what I have to do, or else I'm gonna look dry as fuck. <laughs> so, and it puts it in my hand and literally just lather on like freaking, I'm gonna fry some chicken, girl. Mostly on my like chin and my cheeks. Not anywhere. I guess that's kind of like my whole face, I'm done. And not even like a light layer. So this is like very light. Like it just looks slightly shiny. I'm gonna do a second coat. It's that serious. Okay, since I'm actually, more on the lighter side since it's the winter months. Cause you know in the summer, I'm a damn Aztec. We're gonna just use a lot of the 107, which I'm running out of because my mom's been freaking using it. Just blot in my face. And then just like little dabs of the 109. Now I'm gonna be showing you my favorite brush of literally all time. It's a Morphe M439, like, if you don't have this brush, I don't know how you're alive right now. And I just mix. And once it's all mixed, then I start dabbing it. And now remember only on one side of your face. And like, as for eyeshadow, I always used to be confused. Like, should I clean it? I just kind of just dab it at this point, And then I like put, will put more eyeshadow. Like if I need to feel like if it needs to blend. Here we go, one side, and you have to move fast. We don't want it to dry. Then I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toast. And I'm gonna use this to cream contour just a little bit. <laughs> Very light, a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. Then I'm gonna use this small, simple brush by Elf to buff it in. Using circular motions and always push up, never push down. Cause then like, what's the purpose of your contour? You're just gonna have brown all over the side of your face. Then for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the color Fair. Just gonna do a couple. I enter my eye. 
And not a lot of people do this, but I feel like it makes a difference. I like to do a couple dots right under where I did the, can, the toast color to really carve out the contour. And now I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender, I guess you could say by Real Techniques. And I'm gonna dab that in. Since I have a more rounder face, I never bring out my concealer all the way to the side or else it's gonna make my face look like a damn pancake. So for all my round face girls, only keep it here in this triangle. Don't pull it off either, you're gonna look like a drag queen. Trust me, I have pictures of me. Girl, it's a mess. Okay, and I like to set it with a uh, CoverGirl's translucent powder in 115, it looks like this, and a Morphe M438. And my trick is never look straight because I have wrinkles right under my eyes. I'm 21, I don't know how. So I always keep <laughs> looking up like this so it doesn't crease. Okay, I love this brush so much. It's perfect for getting right under your eyes. Look at that point, just like boom, boom. <laughs> just pat it out. And I can keep blending. So I'm literally, I just like dab it in a straight line and then blend it. Like it looks crazy at first, but just make sure I buff it out. And I'm not dragging it anywhere. I'm just making sure that it blends with the toast color. And I always kind of like go kind of like diagonal here, right under the brown. And sometimes if I feel like it's maybe too white right here and it's not gonna match with my neck, I'll go back in with just whatever's left over on my Kabuki brush and just dab it on my jawline. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to the other side. Some people don't like to bring it all the way up to their eyes, but I feel like why not? I like to do whatever's left over right here. On my forehead, don't touch your eyebrows yet though. And then just one eye everything you put on your face. Now on to my favorite part. Not a lot of people like to carve out the top of their brows because they feel like it looks too chola. But I'm not afraid of that, honey. And I'm just using this little concealer brush by e.l.f. Like the writing's gone on it. Like I use the hell out of this brush. Now I'm just gonna clean up my brows with the 107. I never had that steady hand like this whole time that I've been doing makeup. It used to come out real crazy. So practice makes perfect. And for the front, I feel like a lot of girls make it really boxy. I feel like a lot of people don't really know what to do, but I feel like my best blending is just to like kind of like blend the rest of the product that I put in the front into the front of my eyebrow and just tap. Like don't put too much to where like it erases it, but just enough so you don't have that like perfect square, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna set everything. I do use a translucent powder for everything else too. I don't use like, it has like a little bit of tint in it, but not too much. I don't brush it on either. I pat it into my face. Okay, now that everything's set, let's Contour. First, so I'm, first I'm gonna go with this Bella Pierre contour palette. I'm gonna start with this banana color here in the center and my Morphe M438. I really like these because they're really creamy and they don't give flashback. I bought the Makeup Forever translucent powder and it gives the worst flashback. I don't know why no one told me it didn't work so well. And just pat that under the eyes to brighten it up. Now for contouring, I actually used to use just a regular blending brush, so I'm gonna do that. You know what, no. I'm just gonna use a contour brush from Morphe. It's more tapered. I'm sure you can find the one with the actual number on it. It's probably the same brush, just saying. So, I'm actually <laughs> gonna go in um, with Give Me Sun by NAC. And again, I'm gonna hold the brush like this, very flat, and just push up. 
And when I want to blend, I just obviously let go. Okay, I'm literally just going to be using this, like, lip brush from Sonia Koshuk. It looks like this. It's kind of cool because it comes off and then you put it away like that. From the Morphe 35O, I'm going to go with my the first transition shade that I had used. Just tap it in there. And I feel like my nose is relatively pretty slender at the top, so I just like to focus on the bottom. Drag it down. And then I like to do it right at the bottom too. Okay, for highlight, I'm gonna go in with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. One of my personal favorites. And I actually do use a Morphe M502 for my highlight. No, don't don't fuck around. I'm not I'm not even trying to see you put on pat pat. I want you to pack it on, okay? Cause I mean like if you don't have a nice highlight, who are you? Are people gonna take you seriously? I won't. <laughs> I feel like the first thing I notice on someone is their highlight. It's like your eyes could be straight jacked, no eyeshadow, nothing, but if you got a little bit of highlight, it's like <laughs> beautiful. Just on the highest points on your cheek. Boom, baby. Hello, look at that. And then just to give it a little bit more pizzazz, I like to take this um, Milani eyeshadow. Indie color. Golden touch. Golden touch. <laughs> And I don't like to put it all over my highlight, just kind of swipe it with my finger. And I just like to tap it on the very highest point. Going back with my Morphe M502 and the Gilded Honey. I also got a Right down the bridge and then a little bit above my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my Morphe 9B blush palette. And I'm gonna take the color right in the center. Now I'm not really a big blush person because my cheeks aren't actually really, really red, but I mean, if I had to. Like I said, I'm not a big blush person. I'm gonna, these are so pigmented. Like, I'm gonna just show you. I did like a couple taps. Look at that. Fake smile, like, <laughs> I know you're looking at my man, bitch. And just like, I'm literally not even touching my face. Can I even touch? Like, I'm not even. And that's already too much for me. I feel like I look like. And then now we're gonna do my under eyes. Okay. I'm gonna use this um, crease brush by Sonia Kushuk. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks like this. And I'm gonna use the same transition color, the light brown we first started with, and brush it under the eye. Then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe B16 again and the darkest shade. And I'm just gonna kind of mimic what I did on my lid. Keep the darkness on the outer edges. And notice I'm, I left the center empty still. So, I only did one eye, so I'm just gonna show you this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of the glue on a brush so we can be more precise on where we're gonna put it. It doesn't have to be it's supposed to be the big brush, girl. Like, I'm gonna use this cheap ass one. So, like I said, I'm gonna go in with this. And since I'm kind of running low, I'm just gonna dip it inside. And you know what's actually probably smarter to use this like tapered brush because you just wanna get right under your lash line. Okay. And we're just gonna tap right under, right where we left it empty. Okay. And then we're gonna grab the glitter and then tap that under your eye. Now for inner highlight, we're gonna use, you can obviously tell it's my favorite one. It's this one right here. Tap it and then instead of just like pressing it, I don't know why I feel like this works better. I like to twist it into my skin. Not hard obviously, but like, I feel like the product, the product really stays. And blend it out because you don't want like harsh lines there. 
And then obviously bottom mascara. Nothing special, just put it on, girl. For my lips, let's do something crazy. Should I just go crazy? Should I just do red? I like dark. And then I'm gonna powder them just so it stays in place. I'm not gonna use a lip liner, so. Now, I, for, I do like to overdraw my top lip and my bottom lip because naturally my lips are not symmetrical. I'm just gonna like look at you straight and then you can see that, like, look at this, like, this side is hanging down low. Like, girl, you got a full lip. And then I'm gonna go in with a lip brush. I'm using a Morphe brush, like I said, I got it in my set. It doesn't have a specific number, it just looks like this. Massive. And so since I don't really like to use the applicator to first outline it, I like to put it on like to color it in, but I'm just gonna take the brush and the applicator's already dipped in. Just brushing in a little bit. A little bit. Don't go, don't go crazy, girl. Honestly, I think that Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are like the best formula on the market. Like. Like, they're really pigmented, like one swipe, and look at that, this one. How dark it is already. It's okay. All right, I'm just concealing my lips, by the way, because they're a ratchet mess. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. My first tutorial of all time, 2016, is obviously going to be a brand new year for me. I'm really going to try to keep up with this YouTube thing. So if you guys enjoyed my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>